Aloha. Hi, welcome back. So we are going to start this live stream again. And this time it should be a better connection. Uh, today is October 2016. My name is Master Paul and I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Ji Gong Sha. And today's subject is on the subject of stress, of which I have been given an immediate opportunity to transform because this is the second video. The first one did not work for the first 8 to 10 minutes. Hopefully this one will work a little bit better. So as everyone starts to reconnect to this new video, I hope that it'll be a little bit better this time around. So thank you for your patience and so happy to see you all. <clears throat> as indicated earlier, I am a student, I am a worldwide representative of Dr. and Master Zhigong Sha. And Dr. and Master Sha is a servant to humanity and he brings with him the understanding of soul, the power of soul, how soul could bring transformation to every aspect of our life. And um, what I was saying in the previous video that I had to delete <clears throat> was that much of the stress that we have in our life, we, we look at it as something from outside of us. We look at it from the victim perspective. We look at it from the perspective of the mind. Uh, for example, we might say, I wouldn't have any stress if it wasn't for my job, or I wouldn't have any stress if it wasn't for my boss. I wouldn't have any stress if it wasn't for those kids and they're acting out. So this is a victim mindset. And one of the things we want to look at when we look at the subject of stress is what are some of the reasons that have brought those conditions to us because we're blaming the conditions we're placing it outside of us but that's never truly going to help us all that much so today i'm going to empower you with some tools to help transform the stress including awareness first we're going to go ahead and we're going to start <clears throat> by um, connecting uh, heart to heart and soul to soul and then um, we'll move forward with the teachings and blessings today okay so let us connect Placing our hands in soul light, soul service, hand position. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center. Close your eyes. Dear all layers of the divine, all layers of the Tao, all layers of the source. I love you, honor you, appreciate you, respect you. I bow down to you. We ask you to please come at this time. Come to sit at each of our heart centers. Bless us each to... to Forgive each other to forgive ourselves. Bless us to align to the wisdom teachings that are offered today. Bless us to release the stress that we have held on to the entirety of this life. And bless us to move forward with less stress in our life, as appropriate. <clears throat> Did the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, honor you, respect you. And I bow down to you. We ask you to please turn on in all souls and to join us today. And as we chant love, peace, and harmony, please bless us to align our hearts and souls together. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So those that do not know the song, please just receive. Those that do, welcome to chant. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I will shin erling. Oh, I tran rane. Wong ling rong. Her mu shur shong. Shong I ping on her she. Xiong ai ping on xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. 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 Oh, I turn and lay, Wang Li Hirong, 
儿母是上，相爱平阿那些，相爱平阿那些。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha ha ha! Thank you, thank you, thank you. <coughs> okay, so we have Mary has joined us. Welcome, Mary and Tawana, Felix, Ilona coming in from Belgium, Shari and Kristen Strachan, Chrissy Kota, uh, Rachna. Welcome, Rachna. I believe you're coming in from Mumbai area. Uh, welcome, Jean. Welcome, Tatiana and Elizabeth. Welcome, Patrice. And welcome also Nicole. Welcome um, Scott and welcome Kathy Campbell. Marina, Rianne, and um, Linda Johnson and Linda Lindsay Lay is watching. And uh, I saw one or two uh, sometimes when people they check in or they, or they they hit the little happy signs. I get to see your 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 picture briefly, but sometimes your name doesn't show up. So if I didn't mention you, it's not because. Um, uh, of anything other than your your name is not showing up in my my feed, okay? And as Master Shah would say, those who are not mentioned get even more virtue. So welcome Ali, welcome Lindsay. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining today. So the first request I have is for each of you to hit the share button because that'll go to your timeline and maybe some other people that are having stress will get some insights uh, and some value from today's uh, teachings and blessings. So welcome to everybody. My name is Master Paul. Um, in Dr. and Master Shah's wisdom and teachings on the, the power and significance of soul in every aspect of its life, how we can clear the blockages to bring healing to us, he does not necessarily go into stress directly. When he, when he offers his teaching wisdom and blessings, he goes into um, different aspects of the major organs and systems and their relationship to the uh, Eastern Chinese medical approach, which includes wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Respectively, the organs are the um, uh, <clears throat> liver is the wood, the heart is the fire, the earth is the spleen, uh, the, uh, the uh, metal is the lungs, and the kidneys is the water. Now, they each have emotions, and the emotions are anger, uh, anxiety and depression, uh, worry, grief and sadness, and fear. So stress is not one of those listed emotions. But each one of those lead to stress. Anger leads to stress. Fear leads to stress. Anxiety and depression leads to stress. Um, worry leads to stress. Stress, according to John Hopkins University, is literally the source of up to 90% of all human health-related issues. <laughs> That's a pretty large number by a major organization like John Hopkins to state. <clears throat> so the question becomes, why do so many people have stress? And... I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I know. I will do a soul reading and I will ask heaven to give us a message from heaven as to the nature and the uh, uh, origination of stress and how it impacts us. Well, we're going to find out some, maybe some additional insights that we can work with. I, I know the tools that I can assist you with, but it's good to have some in, inner working knowledge. Okay, So we're going to do that first. <coughs> Excuse me. So close your eyes to receive this message. Dear Heaven Tao Source, to the soul of the question, what is the originating cause of stress for the majority of us? How can we comprehend um, any value when we have stress and convert it to a condition that is of value to us? Also offer any guidance, wisdom, and insights as to how it impacts our health and well-being. Offer any guidance, wisdom, and insights as to, additionally, beyond what is known, what we can do, <clears throat> both in the moment and for all the future moments, how we can avoid and reduce stress in a consistent way, in a duplicatable manner, and in a very effective manner. Please, as appropriate, provide these uh, guidance and solutions for all those that are watching this video at this time. <clears throat> 
Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? This is the divine. You are all my children. Even your 95-year-old grandfather is my child. Your pets are my children. Your organs and systems are of my creation. They are also my children. <coughs> when I created this experience, you all enjoy temporarily. I created it with what is termed in the Bible free will. This terminology accurately reflects the opportunities available to every being. Every being is not limited to you. Every being interacts and affects other beings if the other beings allow it. That is a nature of free will. In the allowing of another being's world <clears throat> and its imposition upon you, the effect can be one that you call positive or one that you call negative. From my point of observation, it is all simply experience. It is neither positive nor negative. But from your perspective, it is easy to understand why you would categorize it as such, given that that is the teachings you have accepted as truth. When I created all beings, when I created you, <coughs> my creation came with the predecessor of time. Time allows your great-great-great-great-grandparents to be born, who bear forth your grandparents and your parents and then you. And in this process, <coughs> in this process, each of you have developed a personality, a unique, beautiful, colorful, wonderful, enjoyable personality that I delight in. When you are in what you term stress, stressed out conditions, my delight is a bit quenched because <clears throat> as you suffer, I suffer. As you are in joy, I too am in joy. And I experience this for every soul that exists all at once. The reason I avoid intervening in the life path that has been chosen by each of you is the nature of your soul and its journey is the nature of my soul and its journey. One hundred trillion, quadrillion, billion trillion souls is not enough to reflect all that make up my soul. And each of those experiences by each of those souls creates my color, my personality, my oneness. 
Your stress is in most cases due to a combination of perception, openness of heart to the allness, and the inability to see whatever is in front of you with the eyes that were given you at birth. <clears throat> I mean this last statement symbolically. All souls upon birth have full awareness. And it is their karmic conditions that cloud their vision that they knew from whence they come. That cloud of karma creates your personality, your ego, your response and your reaction to however life brings itself to you. And as such, you must become aware, literally, of how you bring yourself to a condition. I watched this one speaking on my behalf become stressed out because of the poor quality of the internet connection. <clears throat> he laughed at himself, finally, upon restarting the next connection <clears throat> because he saw that he was not practicing what he was about to preach, so to speak. It is all about awareness. It will never be anything other than that. Because it is how you perceive the moment that is creating irritation that creates the moment following the moment that creates the irritation. I will repeat. It is the moment that precedes the irritation and how you receive it, how you see it with awareness that creates the following moment. Expectation is often the culprit for stress. There is an expectation that you will leave at a certain time to make the appointment at a certain time. Because if you are not there at a certain time, the expectation is that you will get yelled at or be fired, etc. And therefore, when you do not leave on time, the cascading effect by all the expectations create stress. This is a simple example of how expectations affect everybody. Awareness would state the best way to be in each moment is to simply be with it. This is occurring. This may affect A, B, C, D, but it also may not. I will continue to maintain a bright perspective, a positive perspective using your nomenclature, and let us see what happens. And even if something happens on A, B, and C, <clears throat> that is not what I would foresee as ideal, as a divine being, which you all are, the opportunity to be in that moment with a, with a, a energy of okayness is what will serve you best <clears throat> because 
of the following moment. It is how you bring yourself to the moment that affects the following one. It is how you react to the moment that affects the next. I give you this teaching and this wisdom because given the nature that all souls have, all souls on earth have karma, then it stands to reason that they would find themselves in predicaments that their personality and ego have brought forth. And as such, until your karma is completely cleared, you must have a tool set to work with. And the highest wisdom that I can share with you that is universal in its understanding is the understanding of being present and choosing in advance of the upcoming moment how you want that next moment to be. This takes practice, it takes awareness, but it is achievable, it is duplicatable, it is practicable, it is something that could literally shift every part of your life simply by making a better choice than the ones you have been making. Instead of reacting, you are choosing. This is my message to you on this day. This is your beloved divine. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, divine. Thank you for that message. Okay, so we've had a few more people join us. Welcome, Carol. Welcome, uh, Crystal and Rushi. Good morning, Rushi. Welcome, Bradley, and welcome, Michelle. So thank you all for coming in. Uh, I don't know how much of this message from the Divine you caught on the, uh, the nature of stress, its origination, and how we can deal with it from the Divine perspective. Now, um, in teaching with Dr. and Master Shah's Wisdoms, he gives us tools, tools that we can really use in real life in the moment. <clears throat> what happens is uh, we tend to be the victim. In my soulmate attraction system, I work with um, uh, helping souls to clear the blockages that inhibit them from finding their soulmate. And one of the sections, one of the sections in my five-week program is called the victim-victimizer role. And it, it has a, a direct reflection to the personality and it applies to what we're sharing you here. And the victim-victimizer role has to do with our protection mechanisms, our way of bringing ourselves to the table. When we, um, when we come to the table <clears throat> as a victim, then there is a payoff for us. We're getting attention from the outside. We're acting like we don't know what to do about it. You know, somebody else is harming me. It's their fault, or we're not taking responsibility. And the payoff is uh, attention. The payoff is I'm right and they're wrong. The payoff is, you know, all those things. But it does not allow us to grow. The victimizer role is a role that is protectionistic in nature. And what it is is somebody that's been hurt multiple times. So they might move into a relationship or it doesn't matter when I say relationship, it could be a boss-employee relationship. So they might move into a relationship in which they, um, they see the, 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 the layout way in front of them. And so they won't allow a certain set of conditions to arrive. And, and when <clears throat> the, um, the boyfriend arrives or when the job arrives, they, they check out who are all the other employees. Are they out to get them? And they're going to set up a certain series of conditions to where whatever bad happened before does not happen again. They're controlling things, so the victimizer, so to speak. And this also is a protectionistic nature. Um, we do these kinds of things. We either play the victim or we play the controller role when we are stressed out. You can look at whatever is the, what you label as the core source of your stress could be finances, okay? Um, you know, uh, I lost my job because of, you know, if I didn't have this, uh, this car accident because that SOB drunk driver, blah, 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 then I wouldn't be at home on crutches and, and I wouldn't have lost my job and blah, blah, blah. And that's your source of stress. So at that point, you're the victim. You're not taking responsibility. 
So in order to move ourselves to a place of awareness, it starts with responsibility. In order to be in that moment so that we can switch whatever um, is causing us stress, we have to start setting ourselves, our, our whole life, up with responsibility wherever we are taking on the role of being the victim or taking on the role of being uh, the controller that's you know, manipulating everything around us <clears throat> so we don't get hurt. And other people suffer when we're the controller, when we're the victimizer. And so how do we do that? We start by using some of the principles of soul. We start first by recognition. You have to, have to recognize when that stress arrives. Um, sometimes we walk through life with it. We wake up in the morning and the first thing that lifts our head is the stress of money or the stress of how am I going to da da da. And so some of us wake up with it. And it's no wonder that, that you know, John Hopkins University agrees that up to 90% of all health issues is related to stress. What do you think that's going to do to your heart, you, all your organs and systems? We already know that your major organs and systems have a direct relationship to your emotions. You wake up, there's some anger about this that leads to anxiety about that, that leads to some depression that you don't have a solution, that leads to worry because you can't figure a way out of it, but leads to fear because you don't know what to do. Now you've impacted all five major organs and they label it the whole picture of stress. Okay? How do you deal with it? From the soul perspective, you deal with it with awareness. <clears throat> you deal with it with love. You deal with it with forgiveness and you, and you bring a higher power to the table. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now when I was preparing for today, um, as I said, Dr. Master Shah's books, they, they have a lot of soul-based wisdom and teachings too change the problem, but he doesn't talk directly about stress because it's encompassed, as just indicated, by those five major uh, areas of life. And so, how do we change it? We can do the short version and we can do the little bit longer version, both of which you want to do. The short version is catching yourself in the moment and using divine power to transform it. Okay? Divine power is love, divine power is forgiveness, divine power is using something that is free, accessible, and immediate in that moment that you can use right away. So what's something you can use in that moment right now that is divine power? What is divine power? That's power that's higher than yours. <coughs> I deeply apologize about this. <coughs> I had um, Thai food just before I ate, just before I came on. And the Thai food has these creams in it. And when I have milk products, you find me clearing my throat a lot. Lesson learned. Okay, so divine power. We have several divine powers that are freely available to us. You just have to do a little extra step to bring them to the moment. One is Shaw's Golden Healing Ball. One is the Divine Love, Peace, Harmony Rainbow Light Ball. Another one is the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony. Now these might be new to some of you, some of you might know exactly what I'm talking about. But each of these have extraordinary healing divine frequency. And if we can be aware that in that moment we're in stress, we can call forth that divine power, something outside of us that has a higher frequency to come to our lower frequency process that we're stuck in and we can immediately start to transform it. It's no different than with this bottle, if this was hot water and I started adding cold water to it, eventually the water would become cold. If I kept pouring cold water, the hot water would turn cold. In other words, the frequency of one impacts the frequency of the other. <clears throat> so it's a very duplicatable process. Shah's golden healing ball was given to Dr. Master Shah by heaven about 15 years ago. Doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Don't believe it? Try it. You'll find this tremendous result. Um, ask it, dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball, I love you. Can you please come from heaven? Come to sit in my heart center. Help me to clear my uh, depression. Help me to clear my blockages around stress. And then you would chant Shah's Golden Healing Ball. And, you know, go into it for five, ten minutes. You could not. You could just do it one minute and, and go back to your stress if that's what you really want to do. But probably better to stick with it five or ten minutes. What about um, relationship blockage? Dear Shah's Golden Healing Ball, my relationship is really causing me a lot of stress. Now that's a victim perspective. Uh, you're putting it outside of yourself, but you know, you're where you're at at the moment. Can you please come, bless me to be more responsible in this relationship, see where I can do things better, see how I can change my perspective, and bless the relationship so that we can work our stuff out. <clears throat> Help me to see the light. 
and then chant Shah's Golden Healing Ball. What's another divine treasure that's always available? These are always available to us. You could be in a subway, stuck in, in, you know, in the city underground, and, and, the, and the power goes out. It's a little stressful. You can call this kind of thing anywhere under any condition. These are divine instruments. So you have the divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. Okay? This is another healing ball that is in heaven. You simply call it, it comes to you. And it's just zzz, zzz, spinning these rainbow light. Rainbow light is very high frequency, guys. It will clear lots of blockages. Again, this is not hocus pocus. You don't believe it? Try it. You can be very surprised at the, at the healing that you will get. You have pain? Try it. Uh, don't try it for two minutes. Try it for ten minutes. What's your pain now? After ten minutes of chanting divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball, seeing the rainbow light ball spinning in that area of pain. If after ten minutes your pain hasn't went down 20, 30, 40 percent, I would be extremely shocked. And it, for you, it's validation about that there are these real heaven tools that are available to us anytime. Anytime. Okay? <clears throat> the third tool, love, peace, Harmony, soul song. This is probably the most powerful tool when it comes to releasing the entirety of stress. You hear me chant it every time I do a live stream. It's free. It was given to humanity. It is a mantra that has a very, very high soul standing, even higher than the other two balls that I told you about. And a high soul standing means that it has higher frequency, higher healing abilities. So why in the world wouldn't you want to use it? And every time you use it, what happens is many, many souls come, especially if you call them. They're all souls that wish to be of service. Please chant love, peace, and harmony with me. Um, please bless me uh, and my conditions as appropriate to release this stress, this you know, fear that I'm having, whatever it is, around da 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 da. Help me to be responsible. Help me to not be the victim here and to see the areas in which I can transform these blockages. And then you chant love, peace, and harmony. So these are the tools that have been given us. There are quite a few more, but these are free. They're freely available. And the only thing you have to do is remember them and then call them to come forth. So to repeat, Shaw's Golden Healing Ball, that's one. Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball, that's number two. And the third one is the Divine Soul Song of Love, Peace, and Harmony, which you can download uh, pretty much anywhere on the net, lovepeaceharmony.org, um, YouTube, you just type it in, Love, Peace, Harmony, the videos will come right up, and those are recordable. There's a lot of different ways you can play that. So even though a lot of what is taught on my live streams uh, can be duplicated, you might hear it again, you know, forgiveness practice, yada, da. Why is it repeated? Why for the 10 years that I followed Dr. Master Shah and the, the six years before that when he started teaching around the world, has he repeated again and again and again the exact same things? Love, forgiveness. He's, 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 he repeats it ad infinitum, uh, ad nausea, as they would say. And yet, why is it repeated? Because it's God's message. It's not his message. He's not God. He is a messenger. And he brings God's message of love and forgiveness. That's why it's repeated. And, and it works. That's why it's repeated. So apply it. <clears throat> so let us apply it today. We're going to use, um, uh, maybe we'll use all of them. We'll find out. We have a little bit of time on our hands to transform some stress. So we're going to choose uh, one, specifically one area of stress. <clears throat> I'm going to walk you through a forgiveness practice around it, um, which will include self-responsibility. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then... Uh, we will invite one of these healing instruments to come. And we're going to transform our stress. Okay. Placing our hands in soul light, soul service hand position. Close your eyes. <clears throat> dear divine, repeat after me. Dear divine, dear Tao, dear source. I love you. I thank you for bringing this great wisdom to humanity and to myself that I can transform my stress and the sources of my stress. I am very grateful. Thank you. Dear the soul of, and you list the condition that is causing the stress you wish to transform. Okay? My health condition, my work condition, my relationship condition. Right? It has a soul. 
So you say, I love you. You have the ability to transform the conditions that have brought stress to me. I am very grateful to a good job. <clears throat> so we're connecting at the soul level to that condition. Now I'm going to do a forgiveness practice. Repeat after me. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have brought stress to you in this or any lifetime, especially if we have caused you stress in the area of, and then list whatever you're stressful for. If you're stressed about the job, you may have caused stress on other people's jobs. If you're stressed about a relationship between you and another, you may have caused that same kind of stress with others in relationship in different times. So ask for forgiveness at this time. We'll repeat again. Dear all souls, if I or my ancestors have been the source of your stress, especially for, and then fill in the hole, <clears throat> I truly, deeply apologize. Dear my own soul, please forgive me for not taking responsibility of being the manifester of this condition that has come to me. Please forgive me for complaining and not seeing it with awareness. Please forgive me for not changing the perspective to one of love, light, and positivity so that I can help my future moments. Dear my soul, please bless me in the future to be aware, to choose positivity, to choose responsibility, and to remember to ask divine power to come to transform the stress as quickly as possible. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now we're going to ask one of the divine treasures we talked about to assist us. Let's ask the divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball to come. <clears throat> so repeat after me. Dear the divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. I love you, deeply appreciate your service. Can you please come from heaven? Come to sit in my heart center and bless the stressful condition of, and then state your condition. I am so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And as we chant Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball, you're going to visualize radiating rainbow light, spinning, radiating rainbow light, blessing and clearing blockages. <clears throat> Let us chant. Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball. Divine Love, Peace, Harmony, Rainbow Light Ball. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, 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 ball. <coughs> Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. 
Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. Silently chanting, seeing the rainbow light ball spinning in your heart center. And as it radiates out, the blockages are melting. See yourself smiling. If it's in relation to someone else, see both of you smiling. See no blockages between you. If it's a health issue, see yourself talking positively about it to somebody else. Peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. Divine love, 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 peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. Out loud. Divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow, light, ball. 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 Now continue to watch the rainbow light ball spinning. We're going to ask it to stay with us. Repeat after me. Dear the divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball, please continue to spin in my message center. Please continue to bless the release of the stress that I have requested. And now we're going to ask the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony to come. We're going to chant it <clears throat> while the love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball is still working. So now we have two divine treasures that are assisting us. Okay? And now I want you to make an additional request for a different area of stress in your life. Tell heaven what you would like to request. And now, repeat after me. Dear the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Can you please come? <clears throat> Can you please bless my request and help me to transform this stressful condition that I have just mentioned to love and light? Bless me to be aware and responsible. Bless me to choose positivity so that my next moments are not the same as the ones that have caused me stress. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I want you to keep your eyes closed. Continue to visualize the rainbow light ball spinning, clearing blockages, <clears throat> and let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I wash in early. Oh, I run ran lay, Wang Ling Rong Her Mu Shi Shong, Shong I Ping On Her Shi, Shong I Ping On Her Shi. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. 
Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Why wash in the ring? Why run, run, lay on the room? Her musher song. Song I ping on her she. Song I ping on her she. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Ha. Ha, ha. Say thank you from your deepest heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to the divine love, peace, harmony, rainbow light ball. I am so honored for your service. Deeply appreciate your service. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, the source, soul song of love, peace, and harmony. Incredible blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please respectfully return. And we send these souls back to heaven where they came from so that they can serve other souls. So it's a, a way of offering respect and gratitude. It's a way of acknowledging they are a soul. And so when we say, please respectfully return, we're, we're, um, we're, we're being in a very deep place of gratitude and appreciation. This also means that next time we call upon them, they are much much brighter and filled with light and there to serve you because your presence to their presence has increased. So gratitude carries with it great power. When you are grateful, when you call forth these souls to serve you with deep gratitude and appreciation, many, many more heavenly beings come. They automatically come. You think, you think these things come by themselves? No. Heaven's animals come. There's dragons, lions, tigers. Lots of heaven's animals come. Ones that are multi-shaped. They have different shapes in their bodies. They're flying all around you. They're clearing the blockages to the, the stress. So these come when you call these heavenly uh, souls. When you chant the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, one of the deep secrets about mantra is that we live in this time frame, this three-dimensional experience, but there are multiple dimensions on all levels. There are multiple happenings on all levels by much, much, much higher beings. And so when <clears throat> we chant with a very high frequency soul song that came from those levels, those beings that have also been chanting it, they many times come to serve. And so it's a great uh, honor to have these high deities come to us to serve us. Um, and so we always offer our deepest respect and gratitude. Uh, and that brings about the highest propensity of more coming next time as well. Okay? So to, to conclude everything that has been taught here today, when the divine came, the divine offered through flow a message. And as best as I can remember, the message is, <clears throat> we have a choice in every moment to instead of going into a pattern that we have learned since childhood because of our karmic conditions that brought those to us, we can choose to recognize that that stress is not caused by something outside of us. It is caused by the karma that brought that supposed outside thing to us. So we can stop in that moment and recognize that stress. We can then say, thank you for your service. I wish you to transform. I no longer wish to see you the way I have been. Because each time we focus on that stress, that worry, that fear, that anxiety, that depression, which are all collectively create stress, each time we focus on those, in essence, what we're doing is we're picking up a piece of tile called stress and we're putting it in front of us for our next step.
Imagine that as you walk forward in life, you have a pile of tile around you. You are responsible for what tile you put in front of you based on your thoughts, words, and actions. And if your focus is on those things that have been bothering you, then that's the next piece of tile you're putting in front of you. If you stop and become aware and you choose a different piece of tile, one that is, I choose positivity, I choose responsibility, I choose to do forgiveness practice around this for having caused this kind of stress upon any other soul at any time. I choose to bring in higher frequencies to transform this so I don't repeat this tile laying pattern forward. This is my conscious choice in this moment. When you do that consistently, this thing that has the label of stress will diminish piece by piece, step by step. I like that step by step. And we will start to not have those experiences. And one of the reasons we will not have those experiences is because we will start to have more positive experiences. Why? Because the tile we laid in front of us is the tile of the manifestation of our future life, of what we're stepping into. The shit we was thinking about, pardon my, 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 my statement, but that's often what it's like, right? The, the unpleasant stuff that's in our life now is what we have been thinking about these last months and years. And because we consistently think about it, consistently give it attention, we're consistently laying those tiles down in front of us. So understand this. Tomorrow when you wake up and that stress is still there, and that father that's the unpleasant communicator to you is still there, and that boss that is the unpleasant boss is still there, it doesn't mean that things aren't changing. It means that that was because of what you have created up to that moment. But as you start laying the new tiles, because you made different conscious choices, because you brought higher divine power to the moment, as you make those new tiles, then what will happen one, two, three, four weeks from now is you will have a far superior set of conditions moving forward because of the predominancy of the positivity of your thought and your thinking and your conscious choice of choice of responsibility, things will just start little by little getting better. The boss won't be such a jerk. Maybe he'll find somebody else to go bother. Um, the relationship will get a little bit better. Uh, two months from now, you might get a raise. Whatever is a source of the stress will become less and less. Why? Because you have become aware. Because you have made a different set of choices, you're starting to manifest a different life in front of you. One of the things that Divine said through flow was that if we allow someone's manifestation outside of us to bother us, that's our responsibility. That's our choice. That's our problem. We have to take responsibility for allowing their stuff into our world. We have our own little world and we can create it. We have been given that responsibility as a soul. We have been given that uh, free will as a soul. And just if we allow them in to bother us, then, um, then that's also our responsibility. Now, part of that is recognizing that they might be a, a good soul that has good intentions, but their form of communication isn't the way we like it. So we do work on our end. We ask these divine beings, these heavenly treasures, to transform the communication process so that it is smoother, better. Because I like the soul in my life, I just want it to be a better process. This is how we deal with things at the level of soul and we take responsibility for our processes, okay? So, um, this is how you can do it at the earth level, at the human level. If you want to get it done divinely quickly, you can receive what's called a crown chakra blessing. They're available anytime. I'm not going anywhere. Crown chakra blessings is like a tornado of light. It's, uh, it's done in person or remotely. I ask the divine treasure to turn on. The divine, literally not me, just like divine flows come, it wasn't me. Divine comes, uh, just rotor rooters, tons of the blockages, and things start clearing a lot, lot, lot faster. Um, the, the, the crown chakra blessing is not limited to stress. It can be for worry, for fear, for anxiety. It can be for depression. It can be for any number of those things. It can be for pretty much any uh, blockage that's happening in your life. And the honor fee in my world is very, very reasonable. It's only a hundred dollars. Um, most people notice a significant difference. Um, it's not, it can be miracle stuff, but it's one of those things that things just get better a whole lot faster. And so that's available to you. If it's of interest, you can contact me on my email or through Facebook or through my website, asohealer.com. Um, but I'm happy to serve you when you're ready to receive.
So until then, I'm going to see you on Monday. I'm not going to be back here tomorrow. I'm going to uh, prepare uh, some things for over the weekend and uh, I have to do some divine guidance as to the next direction that I want to focus on, okay? So enjoy your weekend and I will see you on Monday. Love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gong song, gong song, gong song to all the holy beings, everyone that's come, and we'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye, everybody.